Want more outdoor junkies? Well, get your fix at our Facebook page, Outdoor Junkies TV. To keep up with our hunting adventures, what's new, events, and giveaways, check out our Facebook page at www.facebook.com Outdoor Junkies TV. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like and get your fix. What's up, junkies? This week, I'm going with my daughter, Allie. We're heading over to Evansville, and we're going to be putting in some Grand Parade food plots with Jeremy and Brian Roberts. We've also got a special guest, John O'Brien from Grand Parade, is going to come out and basically just walk us through on what we should plant, where and how to do the food plots, and how to set it up. So stay tuned, folks. You're watching Outdoor Junkies. Okay, today we're here uh, with uh, John from Grandpa Ray's Outdoors. We're gonna put in a food plot. It's a, what, about three quarters of an acre, you figured? Yep. Um, so what are we gonna put in it then today? So we got three of our different fall brassica blends, and uh, we came out here a little bit ago and we're walking the land, and there's different soils. We got a little bit heavier, uh, darker soil on the top. We got sandier soil down here. We got a gun stand I'm, I'm over to that side and the bow stand down on this edge, so it works out perfectly. Fall draw is going to be our best mix for early um, with the annual clovers and some earlier species. Frosty Delight's the most cold tolerant mix. So we're going to have it closer to that stand. Greens and greens down the middle is good early, mid, and late. But it also is going to match up good with the stand locations as well as the soil types here. So that's kind of the rhyme or reason. So yeah. down the line, you'll be able to see each of these blends in this three quarter acre plot. Frosty Delight, it's a blend of Winfred Brassica. It's a tall, uh, late maturing Brassica that stays green to 5 10 degrees. It's got the radish, which deer like the tops and it loosens the soil. It's got forage turnip. It's a variety that actually, if the deer eat it, it regrows. They eat it again, it keeps regrowing. Nice. Fast growing. It's got the kale that it's good nutrition. It also is very cold tolerant. And lastly, rutabaga. A lot of people aren't familiar with rutabaga. Looks a lot like the purple top turnip, but a bigger bulb and it's sweeter. Deer got a sweet tooth and that's part of the reason for it. So it gives us more growth, more bulbs, and more palatability. And it's the most cold tolerant of the mixes that we sell. How about the grains and greens? Okay, greens and greens here. We got a blend, it's got triticale. A lot of people overlook triticale. A little bit more palatable, a little bit more cold tolerant. It's got oats, it's got the forage peas. It's got the radish again for loosening the ground. Winfred Brassica, um, again, it stays green to five, 10 degrees. Great nutrition. It's a kale turnip cross. It's got our four our regular turnips in this batch that people are familiar with. And then lastly, again, we got the kale for late season, palability, nutrition, cold tolerance. Great early, mid and late mix that can be put just about anywhere, very diverse. And then lastly, here we got our fall draw. It's a little unique. Uh, we use annual clovers in here. We got bursting clover and crimson. They grow fast, they fixate nitrogen. It draws them into these fall plots earlier because it's very palatable. We got radish in there, of course, for the tops and loosening the ground. Rutabaga, again, I'm a fan of rutabaga. Bigger bulbs than turnips, look a lot like a turnip, sweeter, more yield on top growth. And also, the other thing cool. people overlook, because they mature slower, you, you know, turnips, you get them planted in the ground too early, they will rot, they'll get ruined, yeah. the deer won't eat them. Rutabagas, that's usually not the case. Huh. Okay. And then lastly in here, we got the forged turnip that are multi-graze and Ethiopian cabbage. The fastest growing brassica that you can plant. Deer like it for about early October through the, the first, second week in October. Gives you a lot of growth. Deer desire it. It's an overlooked forge. So those are the three main blends we sell that are brassica blends for fall planting. Uh, for those of you guys that are looking to get a little bit more detail with your property, we actually offer plot consulting services. We're out here in a plot that's very typical of a lot we see. We have variable soils. We got woods on one side, we got some trees on the other, we got some shaded area back there. So besides just planting seed randomly, I'm somebody that can help you 
set up your properties, stage your properties, tell you where to plant it, when to plant it. Let's just say you got your clover plot planted in the spring and it's not looking perfect. Maybe it's a little weedy. Maybe it's looking a little unhealthy. I will come out, look at what's actively growing and help you determine, do we need to use dry fertilizer? Do we need to have you use some foliar plant foods? Grand Prairie Outdoors also offers those services. It's not just the seed, it's also about the soil. We normally, I like having scrape lines along where you're putting your bow stamp. And in this case, we're gonna actually be using our Baresca blend the fall draw that's got annual clovers. It's gonna draw them into the plot a little bit quicker. We always wanna to try, to try to stage the fall draw closer to where our bow stands are gonna be. Frosty to light, we tend to wanna have it in the middle of the fields or areas where we can shoot farther. It's a cold tolerant mix, more late season. So if you have a choice where you got a bow, a gun stand and a bow stand, Frosted light closest to the gun stands, fall draw closest to the bow stands. So we're not just a seed company, we're a nutrition and agronomy based consulting business. Grand Prairie Outdoors, www.grandprairieoutdoors.com or call us at 608-235-0628. Apparently we're showing Brian how to put steps together because he's got the first section upside down. <laughs> I like good. to do things backwards, all right? <laughs> the, the tread's on the bottom, so oh. you I must see. climb it like a monkey nope, or just, something. Just leave that. And then you jump on a swing and go another 10 feet in the air <laughs> after you get off the steps. <laughs> well, it's definitely going to cover you. You're not going to have any issues with mm. hiding in this tree. We just got done hanging our double set for filming out of over our Grandpa Ray's food plot. This food plot's been in about a month. It's obviously coming in well. It's knee high or better. Well, check out turnip and radishes. Turnips, radishes. Look at the size of that thing. In one month, um, it's turned out really well. You, you can't tell me the deer ain't gonna eat that. Four weeks and this food plot looks amazing. I'm looking forward to sitting over this thing. Yeah, so now we just got that up. Bow hunting opens in two weeks. So stay tuned for this season of junkies. We're pumped, man. We're just getting started. It's gonna happen. Oh.